Happy Friday Eve. You know what that means. It's time for Throw a Wig on a Thursday. Are y'all ready for the girl I got for y'all today? Yes, it's a Bobby Boss. So y'all know next to Free Choice Equal, Bobby Boss is one of my favorite wig brands. So let's get it started. This one, I believe I picked up. I'm going to be, I give credit where credit is due because that's what I do as the diva, as someone who has uh, attained a, a, a law degree and studied trademarks and copyrights and all that good stuff. I believe in giving credit where credit is due. Um, we did get this from Ebony Beauty Supply when I was in Dallas, back home. 20 bucks. That's the steal. I could not find this easily online, but I will share with you where I did find her. I found her, <clears throat> this is a Bobby Boss Marita, or Marita, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, but anyway, it's a curly curly wig, and it's $17.25 from Ebony Online. Now, I don't know anything about Ebony Online, I've never ordered from them, I know my cousin has shared with me that she has ordered from them a couple of times, so I trust my cousin's judgment. So, I will go check it out. Um, so, we are going to throw this wig on. We're going to throw this one off and throw this one on. But first, let's unpackage it. Now, this particular one, it's named, the entire name, the style is M710 Marita. Uh, so, that's Mike 710. Hey, 710 Long Beach. Going into Long Beach. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Marita. Now, I got this in copper and burgundy. One of the things you will learn about me is that I do like these colors. I'm not going to say that they are appropriate for corporate America, but depending on what job you work in corporate America, some people won't care. So let's unpackage this. I probably should have taken these glasses off. Oh, I just felt like looking like a secretary right about now. So here she is out of the package. Okay. Of course, once again, they got this one trapped too, child. They got this one on lockdown. Snap that off. <sighs> take it out of this lovely. Oh, I love the colors. Okay, so let's take a look at the unit. There are, of course, no combs on this one. This is a cap wig, I, I would guess. It has a deep part, skin tone based with a natural wave. Now, if you look at this closely, Technically, my scalp probably is just this light, but if I want to darken it, I'm just going to take some concealer and some eyeliner and some powder and hook that up. Okay, so um, just food for thought if you ever want to hook that up. So it has elastics, though, so that's a good thing. Um, uh, What is up with this elastic? Um, I hope ain't nobody been in my wig. Who knows? It did come from Ebony Beauty Supply in Dallas off of Polk. Actually, 710 would take you to Pasadena, too, but we don't talk about them. It's hot as hell. We Long Beach. Okay, so let me cut away the tag. Okay, so let's take this one off. <clears throat> this particular unit, in case you're wondering, uh, by the time I post this, a video should be up, but this is Free Trust Equals Texana, so you can check that out on Wig Out Wednesday. It's on the playlist. So you can catch it on the playback way back. I love her. I may wear her out. Okay, so let's try on or let's throw on since this is Happy Friday Eve. Throw a wig on it Thursday. Be sure to pull out all the little plastic thingies off your stuff. <sighs> this may be one where I have to get my edges done. Okay, the cap is a little tight fitting. First of all, did I even put this on right? Because something don't feel right. Ugh. Okay, let's try it again. So let's throw this on for throw a wig on it Thursday. Woo. Okay, no. I might not have to do my edges. Okay, and I love the colors. Check out the colors. This is copper and burgundy together. Nice blend. I don't feel as though I need to do anything with the... Uh, parting so I won't have to go through that and um, I might rock this out Friday night when I go out with my girls 
And see, you can be business in day, you know, still make it look cute and professional. Um, but nowadays, I think that most businesses really don't care. I'm going to pull these glasses off real quick and see what I look like without that naughty secretary look. All right. So. Child, let me get out there and shake. Now, because this does not have um, combs, I'll get you some bobby pins or some hair pins and just kind of strategically place them all around. So that way, you know, it makes it really hard for someone to snatch. We don't want a charade uh, Whitfield and Kim Zosiak type situation. You saw when she tried to pull that wig, she, whoo, honey, baby. I don't know what Kim was using to latch them wigs down, but baby, it was locked down. Okay, so let's do the 360. Let's get it. All right. So that completes throwing wig on the Thursday. Again, this one was purchased from uh, Ebony Beauty uh, back when I was home in Dallas. That's on the corner of Camp Wisdom and Polk, but we no longer patronize there because my friend was assaulted by one of their workers when she was just merely trying to go buy her a bundle or two for her birthday hair. Okay, so she was just merely trying to get some birthday hair and the woman grabbed her and he not just like gave her a gentle touch, like grabbed her and pointed her down this row and needless to say her and her cousin left. Anyway, I won't talk about that anymore. I think this is the last unit that I purchased from those people anyway. And I hate that we can't go there because they had $10 weeds. <laughs> wow! But um, anyway, there's always Jenny. Uh, Jenny has done nothing wrong to me, although... One of the workers that works back in the wig unit, she's kind of rude. And I'm like, every time I go back there, I'm trying to make sure that whenever, maybe she'll be gone by the time I go home at Christmas. I, I don't know. But either way, and it's a black girl too. I'm just like, oh Lord, why is she so hostile? Oh girl, who did this to you? But I love this. I feel like Whitney. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody, with somebody who loves me. Ah, I miss Whitney so much. By the way, just a quick word, even though we're talking about throw week on the Thursday, let me just throw this in here. <sighs> that Bobby Christina movie was a tragedy in more ways than one. And um <clears throat> y'all could have honored that girl's legend without doing that movie. That's that's all I'm gonna say. And uh Whitney, I hope you're resting in peace and I hope Bobby Christina is with you, girl. You know, I love you. I used to sing top of my lung with my damn brush in the mirror back in the day. Of course, I never attained those vocals, as y'all can tell. I am not a singer, I'm a stand-up comedian and a wig lover and a life coach and a public speaker. And if you need some help with your fashions, I can help you too. Okay. Anywho, thank you guys for joining. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this unit. What else? Definitely subscribe. If I said that already, that's that's a re-emphasis on subscribe. Uh, Diva, don't, Diva don't want to go back to corporate America. I don't want to go back. Unless I'm practicing law. But... Again, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, this has been Throw a Wig on a Thursday. I have been Miss Sophia the Diva, and you guys have been all that. Be sure to make your own magic.